So how many times have you lost your keys, maybe forgot about an appointment, or just blanked on someone's name that you know well? It probably makes you wonder if your memory might be getting a little bit worse. In tonight's Verify Road Trip, David Schechter finds out what you can do to keep your brain sharp. One across, traffic tie-up. Jam. Growing old is just a fact of life. Rope, R-O-P-E. But does that mean our brain has to get old too? One E across, unquestionably. Verify. Oh. My name is David Schechter. I'm a veteran reporter and now I work for you. I'm taking real people out on the road to get their questions answered. And you're coming along for the ride. This is Verify Road Trip. Publishers Clearinghouse. Good morning. You won. <laughs> Pat Shannon is a great grandma, a retired flight attendant, and she looks nothing like she's 80. She's showing me the brain training app that she uses every day. Da -da! Yeah. Da -da! See? See how you feel? So good. My brain is on fire right now. <laughs> Here's what she wants to know. Do brain exercises, will they help me uh, uh, retain memory? It's slipping. Let's find out. Pat and I are starting our journey here, the Center for Brain Health in Dallas. We're Twinkies, do you know? Y'all are, it's fantastic. <laughs> but you can tell I'm Pat because I have my collar on. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. Stacy Vernon is checking our brain function by giving us a series of tests. Write down as many of those words as you can recall. Right, I'm not going to tell you my answers, yeah. David. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Don't be cheating off me, Pat. I love this kind of stuff. The first thing we're learning is not to get hung up on the word memory. She's saying what they can train that's actually more helpful for you than memory is brain function. Think of the brain working much better as a processor of information than a storage unit of information. Unlike multitasking, where your brain is bouncing between several unrelated things, Stacy says you exercise your brain by eliminating distractions and identifying just one thing to work on. Now that you're focused on your one thing, observe. What does this thing look like? What does it feel like? What does it sound like? And once you're seeing this thing in a deeper way, try connecting it to other ideas and concepts and theories that you know about. By reassembling the thing together with outside concepts, the brain can make something new. But being able to focus on what's critical um, and block out what's unnecessary enables our brain to do what it does best, which is process information at a deep level. The results of the largest study in this field support the effectiveness and durability of the cognitive training interventions, brain training. How can I maintain this vigor and enhance it and not and, and counteract the diminishment? So what we find when we engage folks in brain training is improvements in not only performance, but in this health and structure of the brain. Doing a crossword puzzle or playing chess is not this kind of deep brain work correct. she's talking about. Correct, correct. She's saying it's, there's not one silver bullet. It's a way of seeing the world. Yeah. Bonnie Pittman is the former director of the Dallas Museum of Art. Now she teaches at the Center for Brain Health about the connection between art and the brain. 80% of what we learn is through our eyes. With our eyes, Bonnie has us briefly scan this painting called the icebergs, then lock in on one spot. So it's the slowing down and focusing without judgment. Slowing down, down. and focusing, focusing without judgment the left of the main iceberg. Okay. I can here see that the ice is going down below the surface. Yes. Next we do some deep thinking by connecting the painting to what we know about icebergs, like weather or history, anything really. And then Bonnie puts us inside the painting. Think about where you are. Um, what does the body feel like? And mm. I'm all in down. Um, and I have fur on. Mm -hmm. And I can hear the crunch of the snow under my feet. This approach is about more than just looking at a painting. It's challenging your brain to think in a different way. When people do this, they notice a difference oh, in yeah. their life. Yes. So it is effective. It is effective. It's 
like learning anything new. It takes it effort. It takes effort and it takes practice. So we want the hands stacked under the shoulders. You're an animal. You can tell that she has excellent core strength. Can brain training be about more than just the brain? Dr. Cooper, Pat Shannon. Pat and I are at the Cooper Clinic talking to the Dr. Kenneth Cooper. Does physical exercise keep our brains physically fit as well as our bodies physically fit? The studies show that about the only thing that's been proven over the years to prevent or delay the onset of Alzheimer's dementia is exercise. He's talking about a 2014 study which found for people at increased risk of Alzheimer's disease that physical activity may help to preserve the hippocampus, a part of the brain important for memory. I'm convinced that we have so much we can do if we try to take care of ourselves. Your health is your responsibility. Dr. Cooper has seven recommendations based in part on a Finnish study on aging. One, exercise your mind daily. Two, exercise your body. Three, socialize. Four, get adequate sleep. Five, take omega-3. Six, vitamin D3. And finally, vitamin B12. I'm 48. Should I be doing that now? Yes, you should now. Remember, it starts 20 years before you have symptoms. So we learned that brain training is more than playing with an app. You need to see the world in a different way. And exercise is critical to keeping your mind sharp. But what does Pat think? Does brain training work? Brain training does work, and the experts verified that it really does work. Don't take my word for it. Take hers. Well, if you have more questions on how to keep your brain healthy, we've got answers. David and a panel of experts, they're on Twitter right now taking your questions. So make sure to contribute to the conversation using the hashtag VerifyThis.